first lady of our land, Mrs. John F. Kennedy. and a great privilege to present to you a superb campaigner, a lady that all Texans love, our own charming Lady Bird Johnson. experiencing on this occasion something that happens only once in a lifetime. It is with great pride that I present to you my personal friend and colleague of 27 years. This gentleman has done more for Texas during those 27 years than any one I know of. His reputation as a great and able leader is recognized in every community in all the 50 states and throughout the world. The Vice President of the United States. In the case of the man that we honor tonight, Texans in Houston, have wisely followed that rule. And this city and this state and this nation have benefited richly from it. In a body of more than 400 men and women, each expected and each striving to represent their district to the fullest, it is not easy for individual men to win the status of Johns. But the gentleman from Houston, Mr. Thomas, has stood tall in the House of Representatives and has stood tall in the nation. When the interests of the people were at stake, nobody ever had to push Albert Thomas into action. When he committed himself to action, nobody, as any colleague would testify, ever backed him down. In our system, the public life is not the easy life. The demands are constant. The pressures are many. The rewards are few. But Albert Thomas chose the public life and chose to take as his rewards the satisfaction of doing for the people who sent him there and kept him there the job that he knew they wanted him to do. We are a stronger nation because of the steel in his spine. We are a more honorable nation because of the warmth in his heart. So it is a great honor for us to come here tonight to salute an old colleague, an ally, sometimes an adversary, but always the best of old friends, Lyra and Albert Thomas. 